much do you know about the history of the right to vote? In 1215 at Runnymede, a charter of rights called the Magna Carta was signed. It put limitations on the powers of the Crown for the first time and gave barons access to justice and protection from illegal imprisonment after a rebellion against King John of England. Following the glorious revolution that put an end to the reign of King James II, a Bill of Rights came into force in 1689. It helped establish our constitutional monarchy by limiting the reigning monarch's powers and confirming the key role of Parliament. After the Napoleonic Wars, Manchester was suffering from chronic famine and unemployment. So, Henry Hunt organised a demonstration for democratic reform. In the process of arresting him, cavalry knocked over a woman and killed a child. The chaos that followed led to around 20 deaths and approximately 700 injured. The Peterloo Massacre, as it is now known, was one of the key points on the path that ultimately led to the Great Reform Act of 1832. It was meant to prevent candidates from buying voters and to get growing towns like Manchester the number of MPs and representatives they needed. It came with a caveat. Although the instances in which women could vote were already rare, the new law now officially excluded women from voting in parliamentary elections, stating that a voter was a male. For men, there were continuous improvements in the following decades. Chartists were part of a working class national movement from 1838 to 1857 that demanded further reform, including votes for men over the age of 21, secret ballots, annual parliamentary elections, and no property requirement for MPs, so that any man could participate in the democratic system. By the early 20th century, still not being allowed to vote, women in the UK were willing to demand the right by any means necessary. The suffragettes heckled politicians, tried to storm parliament, organised marches, engaged in direct action and civil disobedience, even at the cost of enduring sexual assault, forced feeding, ridicule or death. Finally, the Representation of the People Act 1928 gave all women over the age of 21 the right to vote. Throughout the 20th century, people around the world were also taking action to secure their rights to vote. Across the Atlantic in the 1950s to 60s, figures such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks became prominent in non-violent action to end segregation and secure the rights to vote for black Americans. Finally, in South Africa, after years of segregation and racial injustice known as apartheid, people of all races were allowed to vote in the 1994 election, and they chose prominent advocate for racial equality, Nelson Mandela, as their first black president. Here, in London, one in three young people are not registered to vote. Young, black, Asian, ethnic minority and migrant Londoners, including Commonwealth and EU citizens and private renters are the most under-registered and under-represented. Your voice is your vote and your voice matters. So, register to vote at www.gov.uk forward slash register to vote and get heard. London won't be the same without your voice.